Hello everybody. Um, so by the time this is my third try doing this, my mic cut out um, the f second time, first time I can't remember. But anyway, um, the video is going to be just about is using rough cut, reclaimed, barn wood, upcycling. Is all that stuff worth it? In my opinion, yes. If you can reuse something and make it into what you want and how you want to look, I think why not? I think if you can turn it into something nice, go for it. And unfortunately, this isn't one of those times for me. I, um, I'm i building a cabinet for underneath my bench and it's going to have eight drawers in it. Um, my grandparents' house is next door to this, this building here, my shop here. Um, and like I said before, this is the old Methodist church that I grew up in. Um, so there was a house, they had a house fire over there years ago after my, my grandparents passed and my mom was able to salvage some of the drawers and stuff like that. So knowing that my grandfather was a woodworker, uh, I'm not exactly sure if he built these. I know I'm pretty sure he helped the man that built this house and several other houses on this street. So there's a little bit of heritage there that I wanted to continue with this, you know, not just because, uh, you know, he, my grandfather, you know, was a woodworker, a little, little bit of a woodworker and stuff like that, but be able to reuse these drawers and give them a, a new home in my shop and, and, you know, a new use. Um, so like I said, but unfortunately this wasn't one of these times. My first issue I had with the drawers were that the drawer fronts, uh, meaning being that I want to put eight in my cabinet um, there was three drawers that had the same the drawer front had the same size there's two other drawers that had a different size and then there's three more that had a different size so they were all different they came from different parts of the kitchen in there and so because these were put together with nails and glue I didn't want to bust them apart so my first idea was to trim the drawer fronts to the size of the drawer which and I put a new drawer front on it do a little rough cut or something like that you know make it look cool and um, and I was going to salvage the drawer pulls too but unfortunately I couldn't do that but I did get a similar replacement they're stainless steel but same design if I can't I don't know I don't think I brought them in here Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Must be not. Anyway, um, so I was going to salvage those, wasn't able to. Um, and then you can see the drawnery that they used in here and everything. And then another cool part is the drawer slides. So they had the drawer slides on the bottom in the middle just one drawer slide and that's what they had so uh which brings me to the point of like i'm not saying whoever built these um built them wrong because they're not square the front of the drawers are a certain width and then the back and back of the drawers are wider so when i went and i didn't realize that i just assumed that they were square and it's a good possibility that they got warped and something happened you know during the time they were putting out the fire with all the waters and whatever chemicals they used to uh, contain the fire and put it out so i'm not saying that the the people that built this home uh and the other homes down the street and everything i'm not saying you know they weren't good craftsmen because these these houses are still standing here and they're from the 40s and 50s i believe so you know they're they're they were built to stay in the test of time for you know they're going to be around for a while still in use still people still live in them so anyway so you know that happens sometimes uh things just when you're trying to upcycle things or recycle them and give them a new use or using rough cut lumber or barn wood or whatever sometimes it doesn't work out sometimes it does sometimes it turns out like that right there my new drill charging station and that all those drawer fronts on there those are uh rough cut lumber from 30 some years ago so 
you know, and it looks nice. At least I think it looks nice. All the trim on it's oak, white oak trim around it, and then cast iron door poles, um, and then br brass wood screws, slotted brass wood screws. I thought that that's a nice touch. And then, of course, my um, headboard accent piece I did in the last video. Now, not everybody liked that one. I think there's only like six, six or seven views on it. So, but anyway, that's you know that was all rough cut too. So you can turn out nice stuff. And I'll throw up a couple pictures of some uh, console tables and benches I've done before for people. And you know, and it shows that you can take this this type of materials and make something really nice out of it. It doesn't have to be dimensional lumber. It doesn't have to be milled all the way down. As long as you can get it you know, in there as far as how it looks and square and functional, there's nothing wrong with it. So, um, so yeah, I wasn't able to use those drawers. So I have been making more drawers and then there's the cabinet I got going on there. Um, and the reason there's two pieces of plywood on them in the middle, I, I had them in there for when I was going to put the original, the uh, repurpose the old drawers. And like I said, they weren't the, they're different widths. So I already had that piece cut. So I just moved it and made the both sides even. So I just left it in there. Other than that, um, the next video is going to be, like I said, it'll be this one. And then the following one will be, I'm packing that big guy right there. That's my new Grizzly uh, 17 inch bandsaw. It's the G0513X2. Um, I'm going to do that, get that on box, get a uh, mobile base built for it. And um, only because a bunch of the reviews I saw, just I wasn't entirely uh, convinced by them. So what I'm going to use for casters and stuff are these ones that mount on the side which I'm way I'm going to make my base and then these will you press down and they're good for like 600 pounds or something like that so it's more than enough for that that behemoth um and it's just the same like the same ones that uh they're the workbench casters so you can you put them on there and then you flip them up everything drops down or you, you know when you pick them when you step on them it raises up three quarters of an inch so that's going to be that and uh like i said don't be afraid of using you know rec reclaiming materials giving them a new use whether it's barn wood pallet wood whatever you can get your hands on if you can make it nice i say go for it so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on next time bye